you will never guess what camera I use. It's this one with this lens. I don't really use those. Hey, this is Matt, and first off, Happy New Year. I'm really excited about all the stuff I have planned for these next 12 months. A ton of regular tutorials, but also a lot of new stuff coming. And back to my camera. One of the most popular comments I receive is asking what camera I use. I know most people ask because they are interested in getting a new camera, but then there are those that ask or will say my photos only look good because I have an expensive camera. Expensive is relative, but my camera really isn't that fancy. My main camera is the Canon R6, which is the one I'm filming on. I also have the Canon R that I use more for photography, but now it's only used for certain outside shots. I've had the Canon R6 since its release, and it has been my favorite camera to use for both photos and for video. A follow-up question to what camera I use is, what camera would I recommend? This is a big time question, and I do understand why. Getting a new camera is a huge purchase, or it can be for most people, and you don't want a mistake getting the wrong one. So obviously, context needs to be added to the question. It may not be the best filter, but I usually reply with, how much are you looking to spend? If you are a beginner, I would assume your budget to be on the lower end. If you are intermediate and you're looking to upgrade, then I can imagine the next tier of cameras. And if you're a pro photographer with a huge budget, you probably wouldn't be asking me, but I do know the top line expensive cameras that I would recommend. I'm always doing a ton of research when it comes to looking at new cameras. Just like with most hobbies, you always want the newest thing and being a photographer is no difference. Although it might be a little more pricey than other hobbies. So when it does come to your budget, if you're only looking at spending 200 to 300 US dollars, then my advice is to not buy a camera, but I'm also assuming that you have a camera phone. And I'm not talking about the best camera phone out there, but if it's like just three to four years old, then it, it's pretty, it should be pretty good and good enough to use. So you just keep practicing with your camera phone until you can save up to increase your budget. One tutorial that I am working on is going to be a phone photography series, which is a huge request that I receive from a lot of you guys. And I say this in a lot of videos, but it's going to be about lighting. Lighting is the most important thing in photography. And if you have never used the camera before and I gave you a $5,000 camera, your pictures wouldn't be good. A good camera doesn't take good photos. A good photographer takes good photos. I did hear this comparison from another YouTube tutorial that I saw. I did forget who said it or what channel it was, but it's perfect for this. And it's getting a fancy car isn't going to make you a better driver. It might enhance your driving experience, but it's not going to make you better at driving. So same thing with the camera. Another thing I like to say is the best camera is the one that you have. So if you are just starting out or maybe you have a kid who is interested in taking pics of their toys, you don't need a fancy camera. Just use your phone. Do you want to get better? Watch my videos, watch other photography tutorials. Here's some quick tips. Set up a toy and take the picture. Change the lighting setup, take a picture. Go outside, take a picture. Change the angle from which you're shooting, take a picture. Change the pose of the figure, take a picture. With digital photography, you can take an infinite amount of photos. When you're doing all of those things, see what you like or what you don't like. Like, is the lighting cool in this? Is the background cool in this? Is this pose cool? And then you're gonna see what looks good, what doesn't. Does the photos with the room light look really good? Probably not, so don't use just room light. Use the window light, use a lamp. And then once you're comfortable and you are getting a grasp for lighting, then you might be ready to upgrade your equipment. So what are some good cameras for beginners? I don't wanna get too technical with all of these specs and different details of the cameras. If you do have specific questions about a camera, you can let me know. Also, I don't have firsthand experience with these cameras, at least not the most updated recent models of them. But from all my research and from other tutorials and videos that I've seen, these are the ones that are recommended the most for beginner and intermediate cameras. And they all should range between the 500 to 800 US dollar range. And also this doesn't include used cameras. Like if you can get, I don't know if someone, well, I mean, you have to be careful with scammers, but if there's like a $3,000 camera and you see someone selling it for 800 or whatever, well, you know, hey, that's a good deal. Um, 
obviously if it's if it's legit and all that. So these are just brand new cameras. And like I mentioned before, I do have some phone photography tutorials coming soon. Subscribe so you don't miss out on those. And remember, don't wait till you get a new camera to start your photography journey. Just use your phone and take some pics. Create and inspire.